It is true, though, that apparently Lovecraft denounced all of the racist bad things he said, right? I mean, is that true? That he at least was like, hey, man, what I said sucked? He moved to New York. Uh-huh. And once he moved to New York and had lived there for a couple of years, he was like, maybe I was a little much. Well, that's good. At least. So I wouldn't say he denounced it. I would say he, he dialed it back. Okay, because even, even, the, even the racists at the time were like, geez, love crap. Calm it down, will ya? Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty wild just how racist he was. His primary primary target was like I think it was black people and Chinese people. And yeah. like other racists in his tiny town were like, whoa, dude, come on. That's so wild. They're not space aliens, dude. Poof. The KKK asked him to stop associating with them. No uh oh, man. No way. That's no oh, way. That's cringe. That is oh. what? That's not real. Oh, no. No, look I it up. Look. look it up. There's no way. I hope this doesn't fuck my search history. I'm not finding it. None of what Pat said is true. Oh, no. Well, we're just full of misinformation tonight. Sorry, he did guys. He in New York. Oh. His wife was Jewish. Oh. He did tone it down. Oh. Yeah, uh, Metal Slime Hunt points out that Shadow Over Innsmouth was written in a haze of panic over Lovecraft's discovery that one of his grandparents was in fact not English, but Welsh. What? Ew. Ew, the Welsh. Oh, Gross. So, like, let's put this degree of racism in the context. The man was so racist that he viewed Welsh people as fish monsters. The Welsh. The idea that he was so racist that he's like, what if space aliens were Chinese was his greatest fear. He didn't like Italians either. Oh, if he had lived longer, we might have gotten like the spaghetti from another dimension. Oh, Lord. Uh, 